Hey what's up, hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Emma and if you're not new here my name is still Emma. Today as you guys will be able to tell by the title I am doing a what's on my iPhone. So I have the iPhone 11 Pro, not the Max, just the Pro and it's 64 gigs and I don't know when to get questions so before I even get started my case, yes it says my name on it. That is from The Daily Edited. So they are Australian, it's like a leather case and it's got like your name monogrammed in it. Really cool, um, little plug, not sponsor, but anyway. So it was in March last year, so March 2019, I did one of these videos and that was when I had an iPhone 8 Plus. So if you've been following along with me for a while, you will know that I cracked my iPhone 8 Plus and it was a really devastating day for me. So if you're curious, cause I feel like this is something I'd be nosy about. I was sitting, my phone was like sitting on a couch and I was using Owen's phone as a torch to help him find something. And then I threw his phone to put it with my phone. So I threw it and it landed like right on the screen. And just, yeah, it was fine. It would have been manageable, but the crack went right through the, um, through the like FaceTime camera. So, yeah, wasn't ideal. So I got it replaced and then sold it to this lovely girl. I feel like she'd be watching this. Um, and not gonna lie, I kind of miss that phone. But hey, this one does the job and that's all that matters. People have been asking me to do a new what's on my iPhone. I'm like, no, 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 it's all good. Like, just go watch my other one. Like, it's the same thing. And I was like, wait, hold up. No, it is not the same thing. So I'm here to show you now what is on my phone. So as you can see, this is my lock screen. Just a photo of Owen and I and Fong Matar. So if I swipe up, it'll unlock. Oh, that's all good on the wrong screen. So starting at the top, left hand corner with calendar, voice memos, photos, settings, pretty self-explanatory. We have Snapchat and then Utilities, which is basically just the apps you don't really use. So Reminders, don't use that. Clock, yeah, I use that. But I access Clock, like, this way and through, like, there. And then we've got Books, which I use for my Sarah's Day ebooks. I They obviously go in there. Google Maps, do use that quite a lot. Compass, as you can see, I don't use that because it's, like, uninstalled as well as Measure. Mostly, I use Notes on my laptop and it syncs to my phone. I don't really ever write anything in Notes on my phone. I just use it, like, for reference. Then we have Weather, Shazam, don't really use... I, probably, I actually use weather quite a lot, to be honest. And they have contacts. I had to reinstall that the other day, so I don't normally use that. FaceTime, find my iPhone, wallet, maps, podcasts, and shortcuts. I don't even know what shortcuts is, and it is uninstalled, so obviously not that important. If you swipe across, it's got Clue, which, as you guys know, is a period tracker. It's the one I use. Would highly recommend it. Anyway, moving on. Calculator, self-explanatory. Timetable, which actually has all of my high school timetable on it so technically if I was at school still I'd be an art design right now which is weird phone app store mail iTunes store pretty self-explanatory iTunes store is uninstalled because I use Apple music so I don't actually go into iTunes store and buy anything then we have one second every day so this is where actually no I won't go into that because that is the app I use to make my one second every day video that I post at the end of every year then we have this app called Plan Bella I saw this on Chelsea Savile if you don't know her, she's a Kiwi YouTuber. We recommend subscribing to her. She recommended this app and it was $13. I was like, oh, yeah, it looks good enough. Let's download it. To be honest, I don't really use it because I just, I don't like planning stuff on my phone. I prefer to actually write it down. But anyway, if you want to have a look at that, it's pretty much like you go into it and it has like stuff and I actually haven't really had a proper look into it. And in the bottom bar, which is the bar that stays when you swipe between things, we have Messages, Safari, Camera, and Apple Music. Up here we have iWork. So I only have iMovie on here just because I think it might have some stuff in there that I may have recorded, like, that synced up from, like, when I was a kid. So it's always fun to go back and have a laugh at that. It's not even installed on my phone at the moment, so... Then we have Files. So this is, like, my iCloud drive, so all of my files on my desktop and my laptop sync to the iCloud and I can access them through files on my phone, which is actually pretty helpful if I'm out somewhere and I need to show someone something or whatever and I don't have my laptop with me, I can just go in here on my phone and it will come up. Then we have photography, so I don't really use all of this stuff. So camera connects for connecting to this if I wanted to remotely, like wirelessly control it. As you can see, it's uninstalled, don't really use it. GoPro app for my GoPro, uninstalled, haven't been on a holiday, haven't been able to use my GoPro for like three months. DJI Go 4 and DJI Go, that's for my gimbal and my drone, but obviously haven't been able to film anything the last three months. So, they're also uninstalled. Lightroom, what I used to edit my Instagram photos. If you go in here, you can see this is the photo I was editing this morning and I'll show you guys real quickly. I go into presets and I just use that filter there, which is by Aspen Ovard. Because I'm not gonna get questions if I don't say. <laughs> then we have Visco. So I don't actually use Visco for filters. I use it for the disco feature, which I will quickly show you guys. So it's like this. So these are the videos here, you can go like this. And these are the ones that are like slow, like, and you can put different filters on it. Anyway, that's what I use for that. That's the only reason I have Visco. 
Then we have Instax Share. So that's how I print out my Polaroid photos. Obviously, not at uni at the moment. My Polaroid balls at my room at university. Um, you guys, if you've been around here for a while, would have seen that. And then we have Unfold. So this is what I use for like making my teasers on Instagram for my thumbnails. As you can see here, like the different templates and stuff like that. All really fun. Then I have Color Tone. I think I saw this on TikTok and downloaded it because it had like heaps of filters that you could use. Haven't actually really investigated that yet. I think you have to pay for quite a lot of them, so kind of useless. Then we have this old oh, disposable new favorite app, David Dobrik's Disposable. So you take photos, right? They come up and it's like developing, and then you get to see them at nine o'clock the following morning. So cool. It's like at uni, Rachel and I, shout to you Rachel, we just go around taking photos of literally everyone, literally anything, we go around taking photos of it. And then the next day we like come together after we have our breakfast and we like hang out with each other for a bit and look through our photos from the day before. We're losers, yeah. Alright, layout, don't actually use this, but you guys know it's an Instagram thing for making photos look good, you can see sneak peek on the Instagram shortly. Then we go to finances, so ASB, my banking app, my Vodafone, because Vodafone's like my mobile carrier. AdSense, that's how I keep track of how much YouTube's paying me. I actually don't think that app is supported anymore. I don't even think you can get it anymore, but it's there. And then Trade Me, which is, Trade Me, if, you, if you're from overseas, Trade Me's like New Zealand's eBay, I guess is the best way of explaining it. Then the Kiwi Fuel Cards app, which is actually uninstalled because I have like a like a fuel card and that's like the app I can use to find the fuel stations because I can only go to mobiles. Then Wix, which is how I control my website for my phone, and Uber Eats, which I've never actually used. I just I just open Uber Eats, scroll through the food, I'm like, wow, that looks so delicious and never actually buy anything. So that's that. Moving on to stuff. So I have New Zealand Herald and Waikato, like the orientation app. I only kept that because it was like made for O Week, but I kept it because it has a map of the uni on it. Which is quite helpful, but obviously, as you can see, I haven't had to use the map for uni for a while because I haven't been able to go to classes. Then we're going to travel, so Air New Zealand and Qantas for like my frequent flyer stuff. And then Flight Radar, which is what you can use to like track flights. So say my brother's girlfriend, she's in Australia, so if she's flying over, I can like type in like her flight number and it'll show me like where her plane is so we can see when she's landing and stuff like that. I went to Air New Zealand last year and they actually, um, one of the people who works in like the engineering facility, he had the app and he's like, oh yeah, we use this to like see what the, where the planes are landing, where they've been, what sort of plane they are. I was like, I didn't realize that actual like people use this for proper legitimate reasons, but anyway. And then we have Lyme and Neuron, so those are four electric scooters. So Neuron's the one in Auckland and Lyme is the one in Hamilton. So this is guitar because I play guitar, so I've got the guitar tabs app and the guitar tuner app. I don't actually really use the guitar tuner app because my guitar has a built-in tuner, so that hits why it's uninstalled. But it is handy, like, in case I'm, like, playing someone else's guitar and it's, like, ridiculously out of tune. Next we move on to health and food. So activity, watch, and health are all basically the things that sync up with my Apple Watch, which I'm actually not wearing. And then the Seconds app, which I used before, Sizzy Timer, which is the next app, came out. So the Seconds app I used before Sarah's day bought out her timer app to time her workouts. I had her ebooks back in like 2018 before her timer was actually a thing. Well, it was a thing, but it got removed from the app store. And the Sizzy timer is what I use for the Sarah's day active lifestyle ebooks. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's basically this two eight week fitness challenges and that's the timer app that you use to sync up with the book. So when you're doing the workout, you know what you're doing. Games. Yay! This reminds me of that meme that's like, do you got any games on your phone? Well, I do. I have Tiny Striker, Ski Safari 2. I had Tiny Striker and Owen and I were like versing each other. Not only really like versing each other, but seeing who could clock the game first. I was so far ahead of him and then I don't know what happened, but he managed to clock it first. So hence why it's uninstalled because I don't really have anything much left to play on it. Then we have Ski Safari 2. I actually used to have this on my iPad back when I was like a child. And... I re-downloaded it as like, just like, you know, a trip down memory lane and I haven't really played it because I don't have time. Next we move on to social. So my social I put on this, like, not on the first page, but on the second page because I try not to use social media. All my usernames for these apps are down in the description box if I use the app. Pinterest, Messenger for my personal Facebook, Spotify, my Spotify username is also down below. Although I use Apple Music, I do update my Spotify so you guys, if you have Spotify, can still listen to my playlists. Twitter, which I don't use, obviously. YouTube, YouTube Studio, which is how I like reply to your guys' comments. Telegram, which is for how I communicate with my church life group. And Zoom, which everyone knows what Zoom is these days. TikTok, TikTok's linked down below. Instagram and Facebook. So you'll be wondering, okay, Emma, why if there's space on the first page, do you not condense it down? Well, because I put Instagram and Facebook on the very last page because I don't want to use them as much. 
there you have it and then we have my faith folder so this has bible inspiration and the bible app so bible inspirations gives you one little verse a day that you can read like a verse and then a devotion and then like a prayer so i do that in the mornings and then there's the bible app would definitely recommend but i'm currently working on this plan called love over fear with um rachel my friend at uni and it is amazing it is the best bible plan that i have read on this app hands down and then last but not least, we have the Waikato Uni app, little hub for university students. So that is everything that is on my phone. For those of people out there like myself, I feel like that'll um, give you a bit of an insight. Also, I forgot to mention my back, like, home screen. That's pink. That's literally just the light pink color that you can do on Instagram story. So if you go on Instagram story, take just a photo of anything, get the brush, brush tool, and select the pink color and just hold down on the screen it'll like make the whole screen pink, save it, and then you can make that your lock screen, you can do it with any of the colours. So, there's a little tip for you. But yeah, that is all I have to say about what's on my phone. Hopefully that um, answers your guys' questions. But apart from that, stay safe, stay well, make someone smile, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Let's all say it together, my name is still Emma. Wow, well look at that, my intro has changed on it. Oh my gosh, why can't I speak? Happy music is superior to Spotify. And they come, you get, like, they um, have done for like 10 years, for like people underestimate me, but please don't underestimate me. I hate saying iPhone.